Welcome to Oxygen Not Included Spaced Out DLC. My name is Nilaus, so this is episode 8 of our new, brand new, exciting Let's Play. I am here. We are doing some manual, trivial, dupe heavy activity by using all of these pitcher pumps to just grab the brine we have here and throw it over there. After that's done, we're going to do exactly the same the other way and then get all of the, uh, the polluted water back in here. It's just something and the dupes will get to do that. So what I want to do today is I want to set up some, I want to play Factorio. That's what we want to do. Fertilization, we're out of, we're out of sulfur. We're chronically out of sulfur in this space. That's unbelievable how much we just are out of sulfur and made a mess. Why, how did that happen? How did someone make a mess? Oh, you were in there. Oh, okay, well, mm. Well, that's lovely. That's lovely. Um, okay, so this base here is an absolute disaster in terms of the mess in here, and I want to clean it up. We need first to get a few skills going and on the dupes. Actually, I think we'll get one more dupe in here. We have six dupes. I can throw it up to eight in here. I think this one can sustain eight. Uh, yeah, we need ranch farms like a lot. And we, uh, so this, yeah, this episode will work on automation. Automating the the cooking, automating the collection of uh, waste and that kind of thing. So it's going to be very much heavily focused on shipping. Let's have a look. A sweetle or some hatchling eggs? Cooking, shooting. I'm, I'm going to take hatchling eggs because we are going to build a lot of hatchlings or hatches here. The first thing we want to build is a place where they can dump off all their crap, to be honest. That one. This will be our location. And the way it works is that I'm going to simply put one of these. And for some reason, they have not changed it so that it still works by... Um... Ah, there. So we make this location three tiles deep. Oh, we have slicksters. Weird. That means that we're going to get oil everywhere. So this thing here will uh, actually just... Whatever you put in... Whatever you put in, you will uh, actually get it out. Uh, get it dropped out. So somehow it works... I'm going to say sweep only, but it takes all. There are some things it don't want to take. Bleedstone and oxalite. There are some liquefiables. We don't want any liquefiables. And there's some organic, anything that off gases with polluted oxygen. That one, we don't want to get that. So from here on, let's start sweeping. There, they've been super idle. So let me just basically take everything and sweep everything. Good. So now they are going up here and they will start just dropping things in. That is a great place to start. Bleedstone? No. So what are we going to do about Bleedstone? Well, Bleedstone should just always be dropped into another location for things that off-gas. So we'll just drop all the things that off-gas down here. And it'll only take the stuff that I have marked for deconstruction. Let's go look at skills on Bubliel, our second planet. Bathora. Hmm. You can do some cooking, that would be nice, because the other cook PM is also our only mechatronic engineer. And if you do cooking right now, then you can't do mechatronic. Also, you could like to do farming as well, ranching. You're only one of the few who can actually do ranching. Yeah, I'm going to give you ranching. I can. I have no one else who can do ranching. Uh, also, you're working your way towards me another being another mechatronic. That would be very lovely. And you will just do more construction, I guess. Yep. Have to be a bit careful. Okay. Oh, there we go. Partner, critter ranching. Perfect. So we have a ranger. Critter ranching. Finally. Fry guy. Uh, what do you want instead? I think we'll just supplement with some construction. It's good to have building and digging construction. Grilling or rocketry. I don't think we want rocketry on this planet. And if you do grilling, yeah, then you can help. I'll actually give you more of a grill location and PM, you are now also grill. And I'm going to get you some ranching again, I guess. Yeah. And now comes the difficult part and that's uh, going over here. So PM is now the one I'll not do cooking on that. Who got the, who's the other cook I just assigned? Uh, who was the other cook? Yeah, okay, Bathora was the other cook. It just hadn't changed the... There. All right, you will be cooking, and you'll be high-priority cooking. 
you'll actually go all the way down and then you'll be doing nut farming maybe do some wrenching but you have to get building up because you're a mechatronic engineer you're the only mechatronic engineer so i need you to build the stuff we need wow you need to do stuff and this one will only be sweep this will be all the stuff that off gas here because we want to put it, if you put it below ground ah maybe not polluted and organic here all the stuff that out finds it's also one missing i can't remember well it must be rotten food or something rot pile maybe and those things will now be put down there so we should be able to the only things we can't do is like barrels of stuff okay barrels of carbon dioxide that sounds really weird so now they are at least doing something what we really need to do is get some ranching done i am going to be ranching everything that is not inside here and uh, that one i don't know if you're inside all of these oh look at that one too many and i'm actually gonna get like really high priority on this there's only one who can actually do it and uh, yeah, slicksters uh, well the slicksters i can't really get down but i need them to go down here to eat some of the, ca the carbon dioxide but i can't i can't get them down there easily at least and uh, this could require plastic and we just don't have plastic at this point so that was really nice to get this done. So now they'll just, they'll be busy doing something meaningful on this planet. And we can go back here. And we are actually really, really out of, oops, uh, really out of things. So get schedule some deconstruction. And actually we can go further down deconstruction. We actually have to go really far down here because all of this is where we have the things temperature wise it's absolutely not a problem breathability mm, not really a big deal i guess sorry to see the so blunt and uh, you should it shouldn't really be a problem all right so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to schedule a lot of deconstruction plants here so that they will be working on it and then we can come back and see focus on something else so let's do that Right, a big thick command has been issued here with all of these crossbars. So this is, by the way, a death trap. They will tend to go in here and find a way to get into positions where they will just kill themselves. Let's just try to not uh, take these out. There's also a few here. And what I can also say... Oh, that one looks like it's something we can, we can sweep. Oh, really, not even sweeping that. Okay, so I want to show this one is now clean. We've taken all of it uh, the other way. That's actually really nice. No, that one's not necessary. So what I really want now is taking this part over to that one. And in the meantime, we are also going to... We can actually look at how much we have here in fishies. That's an incredible amount of fishies. And uh, <clears throat> I was making a bit of a mistake here. I actually uh, made a deconstruction command that took up all of these things. And that's not great. So what uh, we're doing now is this one, and then I'll go over on the other other planet here and then see what we can do. Oh, you do not have water. Why do you not have water? Oh, okay, that was just issued here. Let's see if we can get a nice dupe here in, uh, into the space while we let the other one go. Mm, doctoring, decorating, those are really not interesting. Now we'll just take a little Sweetle. I don't know if I want a Sweetle actually. I don't think I want a Sweetle on this planet. I'll take, go back here. This is where we kind of want the Sweetles. So let's take a Sweetle. I don't want any... I mean, I, I don't mind more dupes, but they have to be good. And these are not good. All right. So what we have now is we don't have a proper bathroom. So let's get that. That seems like a really reasonable idea to do. I'm going to build it like more or less my, my standard way. Oh, these two are not good. And there's also a little hatch we want to hatch. Boom, boom. That one. These two go out. Nope. And I'll go... One, two, three. There. And... Hmm. This is going to be tricky. Because where do we actually around here have room for... Uh, a sieve, water sieve. I can put a water sieve here because it's kind of a wasted space anyway. I'm not really focused on new science or anything like that because, well, 
not really focused on it to be honest. And here I'm gonna go some piping. This is just gonna be a standard bathroom. And let's build that. That is all of the outputs, so. And here comes all the inputs. So this one will go, all the outputs will go in. And this is the input here. So I will go prioritize that one in. And then go out. And if this, or when it runs full, because it will, then I will need to find a location for the polluted water. Where the hell do we put polluted water in this space? Um, we don't, it seems. We don't. Not yet, at least. But we're going to need to find a place to put the polluted water if we uh, are going to continue this base here. And we are. Uh, so right now, this is actually potentially jamming. Do I have one of these? Yeah, I do. So let's just do that. So right now, just put it into this one. And when it runs full, I'm just going to go like, oops, I did not see that coming. That one. And I should also get some actual sinks there. So with all of these done, I should be able to... Get, oh, these ones will also be... Make sure that we don't ever go out of these. Just make sure that you can only go in. What we can also see in this location is that there is an absurd amount of things here. Uh, so what we want to do based on this is um, we need to make a cooking place and I don't really have a good place to cooking. This could be the one place where we do cooking. I honestly have to go back here and check out what I did. That one, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful setup. I, I have to say, I'm, I'm kind of, kind of uh, happy about it. And we're going to just uh, do that one again on the side. So that should be reasonable to, for us to do right here. It'll simulate by going up here. So let's uh, do that. I don't, I can just, yeah, let's, let's fast forward and see how it is when it's done, right? Okay, so this is now the setup, the design, and we just let the beautiful little dupes get in here and build it. And let's see if I can remember it. So now that these are done, then I can deconstruct them, which makes a vacuum in here. Did I get... Yes, that, I did get that one. I think everything's marked high as well, so let's get that one as well. Yep, and we're going to do shipping. We're going to take that one first. And this one will go allow manual, and it should only do bleach stone right now. Super high priority bleach stone. Partners coming in. That's a bleach stone coming in, and as soon as this one gets done, great. And also the power, of course. Come on. Ah, man, you can do it. You, oh, you could do it. Five kilos? You brought five kilos in there? That's kind of not much. And once this done, we can get some power. We just need this line. Love it when they're coming in so diligently. Oh, they're picking up something. Here's rock. Breathe the power battery. That's okay. I need to come out the... Oh, I can't do this one. Uh, This is unreachable. Oh, crap. Um... I did not see that coming. Okay, so that should be able to reach these two. I don't know if it can reach that one. I'm not sure. I don't think that helps at all. Uh, so I think I have to go take this one out to get here. And yeah, let's see. Take this one. Without power, there's, this is just no good. That one is now no longer unreachable. This one's still unreachable. Just need to get all of these, or as many of these as I can. I don't know if I can walk up over this, but you can, you know, we can try. This is still unreachable. Yeah, it's still unreachable, but that's okay. Well. <clears throat> oh. 
All right, then. This is not unreachable, so that's good. Did do these two, and then get on with it. Take this out. All right, it's kind of working. Kind of working. Come on, put these two, and once those are done, it's going to be powered. Great. This one will do, like, pickle meat? Nah, we'll do uh, this one forever, and is that anything else we want forever? I'll do the pickle meat just forever in this. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, can you just stop doing that, please? Uh, oh, this is, this is stupid. Please disable building. Ah! Man. You're driving me crazy. Actually, maybe it's not... I mean, I don't know if it makes off-gas. Oh, it does off-gas. Just a bit. All right, cool. That's uh, that's actually fine. Then I just uh, take this one out. And then maybe I don't care if this one is uh, enabled because it does off-gas. And you can see there's 162 kilo of that. So as long as I boom, then it's not going to get in. And I can then take... Uh, this one and this one should now go over to that one thank you so now it'll go into here all right we don't have anything chlorine in here that off gas but we do have chlorine in there just per se so that's good what I need to do with this one is if they stand up here they can reach this that's good and what else? Yep. That one. And what I then need to do is make sure that I have all the stuff that gets swept up gets put in here. Right? That means this one will start by getting some bleedstone once the bleedstone is getting in. There we go. I get bleedstone in here, everyone's happy, and this one should not do bleedstone anymore. It should be doing some... Yeah, this one should be doing food that is already done. And uh, that means edible barbecue and cooked fish and frost buns, buns and that one, and uh, muckroot. The reason why I'm doing pickled meal is not actually because it's better. It's just because then it's going to be moved there automatically. And swamp chart and swampy delights. There. That's going to be done. I will not allow manual use because this. the point here is that anything cooked will now be put over in this one and then put in here. Great. This one will be now be used for all of our food stuff, which means I don't really know how to get it in there yet. Well, I do know how to get it in, but I can't really get it in. What is that problem? Oh, these are harvest ready. Priority six. Is this too high priority? No, it's priority five. It's just a lot of other things they'd rather do than harvesters. I don't like that. I, d I don't like that. What? Okay, there's a farmer. <clears throat> so what I could do was actually, if I wanted to really fancy, and I think that might be a bit too expensive to for this kind of colony right now, I could do this, and I could do that one. And just to illustrate how that would be, I could take this one in here, and I would say anything these pick up goes in by a shipping rail. And then I can take this, for example, either I can drop it in here or I can actually having the shipping rail this one next to each other is actually going to be a problem later on. But we'll do this. That's good enough for now. So the point here is this one can then do all the farming stuff and put it in there and then it'll be happy for everyone who wants to get it. This one is inaccessible by dupes but only accessible by the outer sweeper so the stuff that comes in here should only be stuff that can go in there. That's, that's not really great is it? It's really not great. It's really not great. I'd like to get... Ah, I think I might have made a mistake by making them so close to each other. I thought it was a good idea, but it actually turns out to be a bad idea. But this base is very small and very congested, so can't really make so much out of it. Uh, I'm going to break one more of these. It's uh, pretty simple. <laughs> 
to that and we just always want more farms here because this is going to be our main source of food on this planet i need to transition out of out of meal ice and i'm going to transition into barbecue that's really nice let's go back and take a look at our farming part or our hollowing out of the planet that one I'd like to be getting rid of. Okay, the, the hollowing out is going okay. I'll just sweep as we go along. Uh, I have not killed anyone yet, so that's that's a that's I see that as an absolute win. All right, so I want to also do this one. This one can actually be done a lot better. Here again, why there's so much water everywhere. All right, let's take a step back and realize what it is we want. Oh, look at those. They, they are coming in nice and uh, just sweep these. Yep. And let's see what we can get. A new dupe, preferably. Let's get a good one. Digging, building, supplying. That's great. And what do you have? Plumbing is a level two skill you get for free. Gourmet. Mm, that's minus one. Building impaired, decreased construction. That kind of sucks for a builder. Hard digging, creativity. Creativity might be something. Operating and digging. Mm. It's good to have three, thing, three things they are good at. And you start with a skill. That's kind of useless uh, to start with a skill. And for that price, you start with... They're not super great. This is okay, I think. But building impaired, how much is that? Minus three. And you get... Plus two excavation. So it kind of evens out. Uh, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that. That's uh, we'll we'll take you. But which planet do we take you on? I'll take you here for now, and I can always send you over to the other one. DJ Cleric, Cleric with a K. Thank you very much for your long-standing support as a Templar of the Path, and welcome to the colony. And we just realized that you don't really have a lot of places to sleep. You're gonna go up here, boop, and we're gonna give you some. Priority. DJ Cleric, there you are. I'm going to give you some digging because right now we are going to be heavy on the digging part. It's going to be lovely. And I'm going to give you, make you just a standard digger builder. Digging building. That's like all my game. All right. I'm going to just try. The, the things are not working well today here. Uh, okay. Reload. And we're back after the crash. Uh, unfortunately, we did not have... Uh, or I had to redo a few things. Um, as the way it is when you're playing some new things. Uh, like uh, it's in the early access. But it still sucks. It still sucks. <laughs> so uh, we have to re-recruit DJ Cleric. If we can find something we want. Digging, ranching and decorating. That seems really much better. Uh, increased husbandry. And you even want... That is great. I think I want you on the second planet. Because this is where we want to do a lot of farming. So let's get you in here. Much better at DJ Cleric. Uh, just make sure we don't buy a Nymphag instead. DJ Cleric. There. Welcome to the colony. Thank you for your support as a Templar of the Path. What I also did was I took the opportunity to move this a bit further. So I can actually show what I want to show. And that is what we're going to do here. I'm going to totally strain this one. Because it this episode is all about apparently crashing. But uh, also trying to uh, build something cool with this. Uh, let's see. We don't have a lot of iron here. Oh, we don't have a lot of materials. So I want to show you something really, really awesome. I'm just basically going to say. Whatever you pick up from here. Just throw junk it there. Junk it. Don't, don't care. Just make it into junk. What I'm also going to do then is basically take another one of these. That means it's going to take meal lice, it's going to take seeds, it's going to take all sorts of things. I'm going to take another one of these. Yep, uh, it's going to get very weird. That one. Which will then go into a one of these. And we'll have many of those, but uh, this one is mine. Haha. <laughs> one, two, three. It can be over here, I think, but I don't want it over there, I guess. Nope. I actually want it like that. And then we're going to go with another set of reels. That is not a reel. Uh, actually, I'm going to get this like that. And then we go for reels. This one will take all the stuff that is from here. Any product that can be used for uh, farming. Uh, and also, 
<clears throat> set the direction that way. And uh, since this one's not working, then just deconstruct it. I don't have water in there, so let's come back to that one in a second. So, all of this weird stuff. And uh, let's give it a good priority. So, that one will need to set a... It'll basically take, you know, whatever you take, whatever you find here. Just pick it up. Off you go. Send it in. And that will completely make sure that we can do that. I can also do the same amount down here. And this is where we then run out of... Of uh, yep, we run out of here, so we could do we have not a lot, not a lot of uh, iron or copper on this planet. Uh, yeah, we'll take a few more. We'll take twenty more. It's it's not great. Uh, we do have rust, so rust could become iron at some point. Oh, there's a little uh, food, a little of all food. Great, we'll grab that. And oh, we just also got a new. Dupe in here, where are you? Did we not, uh, DJ Cleric? Yeah, we didn't even give you a hat or anything. You're gonna do art, because of course you're gonna do art. Someone has to, and you're gonna practice. Also, you should have been doing creator ranging, but okay, I, I guess that's what you do. Uh, I don't think we have anyone who can do art on this planet, and where are they? There you are, decorating. Anything else? Yeah, maybe ranging. Actually, Anything else will just be whatever you feel like. Whatever is the priority. Okay. And... Skills... Okay, let's get the this up and running. That one. It's not working right now. That means we could get in trouble with the... And here. So let's build... This is our input. Yes, input. So, I'm going to start by... Actually starting it backwards. That one. Let's get this in. And do you need power? Yes, you do. Of course you do. Uh, this power line is going to be in trouble extremely soon. I am going to take all of this. Are you empty? Yeah. This one is full of steel nosh beans. Ah, really? Can they be eaten? Can I eat that? Uh, probably not in that one. Hmm, I don't know where I had nosh beans. So this one will take all the edible stuff that isn't processed yet, like uh, bristle berries, bog jellies, uh, grub fruit is unlikely, meal lice is going to be the main one, meat, raw meat, and spindly grub fruit, those are the ones that we can get. So take all of these, that means if I get something, I'd like to try it though, I'd like to see that it works, so when one of these gets... Uh, all right, we're going to see if we can get something, someone to farm this. I have now seven, one, two, seven. Yes, that's good. One, two, seven. Made a mess. Uh, oh, dupes, you beloved dupes. Just generating nice polluted oxygen for us. Yeah, this one's not working. And you know what? Uh, I'm always doing these kind of things. Definitely don't want this one to be it, but... Uh, and, yep, everyone's going to pee on the floor right now because uh, the toilets are not working. All right, well, um, maybe someone should come over and... Yeah, well, let's go all in. It's going to pee, pee everywhere. Uh, please don't walk across this and pee in the floor, but that's, uh, that's kind of happening, probably. All right, this is not how to build you... Y suffocating. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. How did you fall down here? Okay, shortest path out is gonna go. So you can jump up there, you can jump up there, and then you can scoot up. Yep. And priority. These three are the ones that will keep keep you alive. Ah, Ixero is still alive. I don't know what they what Okay, you're very eager and enthusiastic about going down there. Okay, let's get the hell out of that planet. Go back here. We have a toilet to fix before uh, disaster strikes. Uh, before disaster strikes. Even more than it already is. Couple wire. Yeah, I know. Colony achievement earned. I don't know what that is. Pee on the floor. Well flush. Replace all the outhouses. Ah, that's the one we got. Yeah, okay. Come on. You can do it. 
Yeah, you can do it. More. More. Yes. These ones. Come on. Just these two. You're coming. Yes. Yes. Cover or build and build. Pumpity 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 pump. That one. Yeah, wash your hands. We're going up. Okay, let's see what happens. Falls down. Goes up. Gets into the general junk box. Whoop, gets picked up. And then obviously doesn't get put in because... Let's get that one. Yeah, so this one's full of meal ice right now. Yep, fresh, fresh meal ice. Fresh meal ice, 11 kilos. It's not much. It goes now here. And it goes in here. There is a tiny bit of chlorine in here. So what we've now done is we have automated all the crap that could come from this location is now being dumped in there. And you know what? It gets better than that because we can also automate these parts. And that's the next part we're going to do. And let's see some refined materials. Ugh. Do we even have enough here? Uh, not really. Uh, we're going to have to go out and dig more stuff. Where do we have metal? This is a very metal weak or poor island. Uh, this one, that is insane how little metal we have. Wow. I did not even consider that this would be a metal problem. What is this? Copper ore. All of, oh, look at that. That's actually... All of these are... Oh, look at that. Um, so we can actually get copper by deconstructing this crap. And also... Do I have any power running through this? Nope. Do that. Oh, this is perfect. They're standing on the path that they are... Jumping forward. Jumping forward. You can do it. As long as they start from the right side, that's great. That's going to be more copper for us. Yeah, perfect. Great. Uh, are they getting stuck in? Yeah, don't allow manual use on this one. Sorry, sorry. Got carried away. Got carried away on this one. And that should give us tons of copper. Literally tons of copper? Nope, that's not tons of copper, but it's certainly copper. How is that not tons of copper? Hmm. All right, but I'm still going to do these. Shipping, container. That one. And <laughs> uh. All right, I can do the other th one yet, uh, because that's just normal. That's going to be the iron coming in, and it's going to be here. And then it's going to go this way. I'm just, I wanted this one done now, so. Um, don't shoot this. Power comes here. I know we have way too much power. Uh, no, way, too, way not enough power, but that doesn't matter. Come on, that one. Ah. Not enough iron, or not enough whatever we have, but well, our, our toilet seems to be working now. That's good. And let's see. And I just need to take this out. That one, because it isn't actually working as long as I put it in from the side. Then this one will be confused because it's doesn't know if it's inputs or outputs. And do we get more? Oh, take this out. Send a digger over there. Reclaim all the iron and then move forward. This one can go down here and get a bit of copper, 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 and copper, and there. 
good. This is the only power we have, and it's obviously not good enough. These are not working great. This sun uh, needs to be taken out right now. Because we don't have power. Or we don't have any iron for this. Can't believe that we're running out of iron on this, uh, or running out of metal. I don't think I remember having a sort of metal issues before. All right, let's do a short, quick back look back here. This one is pretty much empty. That is brilliant, and so kind of also what we wanted to see this one. It's gonna take a while for this one to uh, to fill up with oxygen. It just takes a, a bit of time. I don't think anyone is sort of in jeopardy of, of dying here. Uh, it might fall down here. That might be an issue. I can take this one just in case. That's going to be make a difference. Uh, all of this is okay. And breathability is low. And this one will basically take everything. Basically take everything. Nope. Still no. Okay, I'm just gonna wait a bit so that we can make sure that we get this one sorted because it's it needs to be done. Here. And let's make sure that this one is prioritized. We have our rail system built. Yep, rail system built. We just need the power. And that should be possible. This one is is it able to do that? Yeah, it does have a little white square on that one, so. This one can pick up from the bottom and still put it to this one. That's great. <clears throat> I'm just going to take something that isn't a blueprint. Uh, yeah, dupe. I'll just take you. Probably not great, but whatever. All right, let's get this one done. I really want to see this working just, just shortly. What we'll also do is it'll actually take all of the crap on the ground and then throw it in there, which means it's going to be super busy the rail system here. When it gets there, it'll be super busy. And copy settings into that one. Now we just need the power. Just need the power. And it is iron. Oh, it's... I don't think we have aluminium. I don't think this is the right move. There. I need to do this. Iron ore. Go. Nope. And priority six on this as well, but all of these in beer inbound should be there. All right, let's wait and get that done. And they all go to sleep. Looks like we might have an issue with our skill, our schedules for here. Yeah, indeed. Okay, um, we're just gonna split them out here. So let's see any of the new ones. Derek. Uh, partner, you want to work during that? Nah, that's not a good schedule for you. Partner. Who else? Uh, Bathora and PM. Bathora and PM. Who else is up here? Uh, PJTR. Needs to go down here. There. New schedules. Is it working? It's working. This is the stuff we wanted to see. All right. So what we are now seeing, of course, this is using quite a bit of power and that's kind of unfortunate, but it, what we have now is a fully automated system that will take anything in here, which means the coal that's being dumped, the, uh, yeah, anything. So what I also want to do here is take another mine of these and use that to pick up coal. The coal will then be sent to wherever generator room we eventually make so that we can now do 100% automated coal 100% automated food, except for the actual food production here. Everything will be rerouted around. And look at that. For example, right there, some meal ice got picked up. And as soon as the meal ice comes in here, boom, this one triggers, puts it up. And I know it's a lot of interactions, but I think it's the best way. Just first putting everything into a common dump and then start rerouting it to where it needs to go. Because that means anywhere that you bring stuff in, you can just bring it into one central location. For example, we're going to get another one that takes all the eggs out of here because we don't want hatches to spawn down there. And that's where we do an egg room. Yeah, so it works. Let's see. Boom. And that works. Okay, so we are actually getting this and this will be cleaned up nicely. Uh, this one, unfortunately, can't see over here. 
bet it could if I just remove this just a while. Just a while. Doesn't matter. We're going to wrap this one up here because the whole point of this episode was to do some automation. And we've certainly done automation both in the kitchen and in the central dump and all that stuff, which is going to be which is super, super convenient for what we need to do. So thank you very much for watching. If you find this uh, series to be interesting and engaging, then uh, be sure to hit the like button, share it with anyone else that you feel uh, would sort of benefit from it. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. This runs at least three times a week, plus various tutorials. So let me know if, you, if there's something you'd like to see. Thanks for watching. And as always, stay effective.